Yeah, Kenny and I had become really good friends out here, man. And um, that was just some some super, super tough news, man. I had sent him a text Sunday. Uh, he didn't respond. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't even think nothing of it, you know. And then Monday, his ex-wife uh, came over. She didn't have my number, but she uh, knew where I lived because she, you know, been over before. Uh, with Kenny, and she just came over and, and told me. Tough deal, man. That is a tough deal. Um, so um, you said you spent the last eight years hanging out with him in Arizona? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, funny. I'd moved out here uh, back in 99, 98. So I'd been out here for maybe, you know, 13, 14 years. Uh, when we connected, and it's a uh, it's a pretty funny story how we connected. Um, I don't know if you saw that Facebook post, but I talked a little bit about it there. But um, you know, I lived in Chandler at the time, and then um, me and my daughter we went to church um, all the way across town. So it was like a, a really long drive, and I had mm -hmm. this over at the time. That thing got like eleven miles a gallon. <laughs> Every time you got in, and you had to put a twenty dollar bill in it. <laughs> it was uh, Sunday. It was uh, Easter, and I didn't feel like driving. You know, all the way over there, driving out my gas. And there's this big church right around the corner, so I was like, "Okay, uh, Sarai, let's just go to this church here, you know, and, and pop in." You know, so we go to this church, big church, never been there before, and. Uh, you know, it's one of these mega churches, super, super big. And you know how you feel somebody looking at you? Yeah. You feel them looking at you. So we had sat down and I could feel the person next to me like looking at me. And, you know, I didn't want to look up because I knew he was like looking. So finally, I was just like, you know, turned around and I was like, oh, babe, what's up, Kenny? And he was I... like, what's up? And I, had, I mean, this big old place that we decided to go to out of the blue, end up sitting right next to him. And he told me that, you know, him and his wife and his son, they would always sit on the other side. Wow. They go, they, you know, cause that was their church. They'd sit on the other side, but they sat there because it was Easter and you know, Easter is everybody comes and never yeah. come. So it was like super packed. And he wanted to sit kind of toward the back so they could get out quick. All right. You know, we showed up. I didn't even know what time, you know, church started. So we were kind of popping in a little bit, you know, late. Sat right next to Kenny, man. And then we find out, like, the next day, he comes over to my house and uh, just to hang out and catch up and find out that he lived right around the corner from me. Wow. For like, the last year and a half. Wow, that is wild. He was like, man, we probably... We're in the grocery store at the same time, you know, right. yes, at the same. I was like, man, I go to Safeway, you know, almost every day. <laughs> I'm always in Safeway. I was like, bro, we was probably nice. in there at the same time. Didn't even know it. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. That is pretty wild, man. Uh, yeah. what, what did he pass from, you know? Well, I don't know the details or what he passed from, but um, we had talked about um, – he was having some issues with high blood pressure. Mm. And, you know, I had, um, you know, done a lot of training and uh, health coaching and, and used a lot of Herbalife supplements. And we have a supplement uh, in Herbalife that's good for high blood pressure. Mm. And, you know, so I, I took him a, a, a bottle. It's like a kind of like a juice, a powder, and you just right. like a juice. Uh, but it works really well. You know, I've got, you know, tons of people that had helped. So I just went and gave him a bottle one day, but he told me that he was, you know, his, his heart um, would race sometimes and he had, you know, some high blood pressure and uh, just, I guess, it just kind of caught up with him. Oh, that's too bad, man. How long was he the mascot there at OU? Man, he was the mascot for seven years. So he, he'd always, uh, you know, tell the stories of, you know, I wasn't like the, the what do they call it, uh, uh, the long student, the career student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I was the ultimate career career student. All right. And when his four years was done, he he loved being top dog so much. You know, he kept going to school and taking more classes. And nice. Uh, so he ended up. I think he uh, was top dog for seven years, nice. and then he left. And when uh, I think it was Samson came, yeah, he brought him back. He was like, "Man, where's that <laughs> uh, that mascot you guys used to have? Man, have this place rocking." Nice. So he got, got in contact with Kenny. They brought him back, and he came back back for more. Nice man. And he, he was yeah. special. I remember um, when I first got there uh, to OU. I mean, going to basketball games, he was the reason me and Darnell Walker would go. <laughs> We'd go, man, to watch some top dog run around dancing and stuff. We still in his dances. <laughs> Back in the, in the dorm room. Nice. He used to do them belly slides, huh, across the court? I know it. I know it. He was, he was something else, man. Nice. Um, and he also told me, um, you know, when he moved out here originally, it was to be the um, – mascot for the globe trotters oh nice yeah i don't know if you knew that but i didn't uh, he, he was globe before a time and, and traveled with him overseas and nice. uh, you know did a lot of that you know there's a uh, harlem globe trotters basketball back there nice man uh, got my daughter you know so every time the globe trotters were in town he'd get us tickets and you know we'd go hang out with sweet lou dunbar you remember him oh yeah nice man really nice Dropping That's some names like now. <laughs> the execs now, so he he would uh, hang out with us. It was pretty pretty cool. Nice. Um, what do you know? Why you spelled the dog D uh, D A U G in, instead of? I don't I don't know why it was D A U G, but um, I guess it was just to, just to be different. Right, right. I was wondering if there's a little story behind that, but there, I'm sure there is, man. I'm sure. There <laughs> right. Is, but, you know, that's one I don't know. And uh, he was he was pretty young still too, um, mid fifties. Yeah, I think Kenny was fifty seven. Fifty seven, yeah. I man, I just showed you how valuable how life how valuable life is, man. It can just be taken in an instant, man. Yeah, and we we had talked a little bit about that last time I was on with you. You know, it's you you really gotta you know stay stay present. You know, from people around you that you love, and um, you know, do do the best you can 